What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the newest version of the best free add-on for Blender, Bagapi. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download Bagapi from the Blender market. Um, and a couple things to note about this. First off, the modifier itself is still free. Um, as far as I know, it's planning on remaining free. And um, it's got a wonderful tool set of different things that you can do using geometry nodes. So it's got built-in tools for like creating stairs and fences, as well as um, different parametric presets, things like spiral stairs. And he's also added a number of new features inside of this new version. So um, you can download that for free. He's also got a huge asset library that contains a ton of plants and rocks and trees, just all sorts of really great stuff um, for filling things out inside of your model. So um, you can kind of see examples of what's contained inside of the asset library um, down below as well. Um, note that he does also have biomes available that you can use with GeoScatter. So if you use GeoScatter or Scatter um, in order to scatter things, he's got these biomes contained inside of this asset library as well. Um, the asset library itself is a paid add-on. Um, so if, if you want to get the assets as well as the modifier, you can just select the second option in here. Note that it's currently on sale as a part of the Blender Market sale. So if you have been looking to pick this up, this could be a good time to do that. But let's take a look at some of the new features contained inside of this new version. All right, so first off, we've got a tool that allows us to select objects inside of our 3D viewport and then scatter them along a path using the draw function. So the way this works is you bring those into your viewport, like this. And then you tap the J key um, to activate the bag of pie window. And there's an option in here for draw. And so whenever we select the option for draw, what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to select a path and then draw this. And this is going to create an array of objects along this path like this. So once you do that, you can go over into the bag of pie menu, which you can get by tapping the in letter on your keyboard or the in key. And um, you can adjust things like the spacing between the different trees. You can adjust the random rotation as well as things like the scale. So if you want some of these to be smaller and some of these to be bigger, you can adjust the scale as well as things like the position on this path right here. So this could actually be really valuable for placing things inside of a scene, um, specifically along paths. And so note that this also added a new feature that allows you to select assets directly from inside of the asset browser. So if I select these assets, for example, and then tap the J key and click on asset browser next to your array draw, what that's going to do is that's going to do the same thing as the tool up above, but it's going to allow you to bring those in without you having to drag them into your scene first. So now I've got these objects selected and it's gonna drop me into draw mode. And I can come in here and I can draw like this. It, it's going to scatter those assets that we had selected along a new curve. So you don't have to bring those into your scene um, before dropping this in if you don't want to. And so note that he's also added the ability to do that using um, the scatter functions. So if I tap J in here, notice I have these same plants selected, but we can click on the option for asset browser and it's going to use your selection and scatter those along the surface. Now this takes a second or two for this to go through and do this, um, but then you can go to the bag of pie modifier with that selected and you can adjust things like uh, things like your seed, things like your density, other things like that using this tool. So you can adjust the distance between these objects, that kind of thing as well. And so remember that this also uses this proxy function in order to keep your uh, performance high. If you wanna toggle the proxy off, you can just select it, go into the tools and just click on the option for no proxy or proxy and it's gonna swap those out. So a really easy way to scatter things without uh, dragging your computer performance down to a crawl. And so let's say we wanted to add something new from the asset browser, like one of these tall plants. All you have to do is just come over here into your tools, make sure you have asset browser selected in this case and you can just click on add assets. That's going to add this asset to your collection right here. So you can use this in order to add assets to that scene. Um, you can also do that with assets from directly inside of your scene. So let's say I wanted to add um, this tree, for example. And so what I could do is I could click on the view 3D. That's going to allow me to come over here and do a shift click in order to select this. So then we can select this, select this, and click on add assets and it's going to add that selection to that collection as well so now that's being scattered inside of your scene 
as well. So um, now you can add things from multiple different sources using this tool. So we've also got the ability now by tapping the J key and going into the menu here, you can easily swap in proxies for your different assets. So if I wanted this bush, for example, to be a proxy, I could just click on the proxy button right here. And so if I want to toggle that back off, I can just select these, tap the J key, and uh, we can check on the box for disable proxy, and that's going to swap this back off. So it's really easy to swap in and out proxy objects inside of Blender using this tool. So if you are interested in this asset collection, he has over 200 new assets contained inside of this new version from plants to pots to other things like that. So um, if you are looking for some pretty high quality assets, this could be a pretty good place to go to get that as well. All right, so in my opinion, everyone should at least have the Bag of Pie modifier. It's free and it's super powerful. I will link to these in the notes down below. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about this new release. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.